shocking and gruesome story of a TV station owner's wife found decapitated at the Bridges Muslim TV network out in Orchard Park. News 4's Milas Hairston reports. In happier times, 37-year-old Asiya Zubair and her 44-year-old husband Mo Hassan, who founded Bridges TV. Thursday evening, police converge on the station's Orchard Park studio and office. Yeah, I would say the worst that I've seen, yeah. Orchard Park Police Chief Andrew Benz is talking about the crime scene where Azia Zubair's body was found. Now, police tell me the only suspect in this case is the victim's husband who walked into police headquarters here in Orchard Park on Thursday evening to report his wife was dead. It's being called a brutal murder. She was decapitated, yes. Zubair was found in a hallway. The mission of Bridges TV is to foster understanding between cultures and diverse populations. But according to police, the couple had trouble getting along. There has been some history. I believe uh, Mrs. Hassan, the victim, had just recently filed for divorce and um, had served the papers on Mr. Hassan. Police say Zubair and her husband were parents to four children. The marital issues came to light recently with police going to the couple's Big Tree Road home in Orchard Park just last Friday. Apparently Zubair felt she was in danger. We had been down there on Friday the 6th to serve a, down to their house to serve a order of protection. Police say Hassan moved out that day. Bridges TV staffers aren't commenting, but the website lists Hassan as the CEO and his wife was the general manager. It's not clear if she was still working at Bridges TV. Simply because you get an order of protection, I don't think you can kind of put your guard down and say, well, I'm safe now. Now, the Erie County Holding Center is where Hassan is being held on a second-degree murder charge. There's no bail at this point, and authorities aren't saying anything about a possible motive, but they are trying to contact the victim's family now in Pakistan. In the newsroom, Milos Hairston, News 4.